MB04 2024. Saturday the 9th of March. Back to Chippenham. Okay, so, yeah, it's dark. And I'm hoping by the time I leave, which will probably be in about an hour's time, it will just start to be getting light. Who knows? Anyway, weather forecast says rain, which I'm not happy with, but what can you do? It's going to be a good beano around the sun. Mostly light coming down. Mostly raining on and off. It's drizzly at the moment. However, it's mild. I'm going to Costa. Post Costa coffee. Not nine o'clock yet, so um, orange juice. And then fine ales. Just by the river. Nice. Upstairs in the bridge house. And all five, well, not all five, five of the festival ales are on here. So we're going in halves. This is a white stout. White stout. 4.5% uh, alcohol by volume and it's called White Stout from Nethergate and it's naturally hazy It's quite nice up here Wi-Fi needs to be faster though mm. So vanilla coffee It's chocolatey fruity B plus and a bit Worth a crack. Number two from Germany, although brewed in the UK by Banks, Leichheim Chocolate Ale from the Leichheim Brewery, Alten Kunstadt, Germany. Did I say 5.6? 5.6. Anyway. Mm. Mm. So. I'm getting bitterness. I'm also getting fruitiness. Could that be the leftover of the uh, orange juice I had? There's coffee. There's chocolate in there. It's gently bitter. Mm. The chocolate's right up front. I'm getting the chocolate now. B plus in a bit. Red Point Brewery, Disco Macaw, 4.5% alcohol by volume. They are from Taiwan, probably where the processor in your iPhone comes from. And uh, brewed in the UK by Shepard Neen. Let's say four and a half. I can never remember. It's four and a half. Anyway, gave it a B plus last time. Which house? We wait for the coming oh, again. Yeah. Mm. Okay. It's fruity. It's sweet. It's B plus in a touch, which is 3.1. Yeah. And it's a fruity, fruity, yeah. Fruity finish. He's a little bit more than us. Before I start, yeah, bubbles. Now I know because I've seen it. Spoons have um, the dishwasher, the glass washer. They're just not that good. Anyway, Adnams Jester, 4.8 percent alcohol by volume. Made with Jester hops. Mm. Fruity and complex. A little bit earthy. And a gentle, bitter, earthy finish. B plus on the bit. 3.3. Going Scottish. The rest I have tasted before I videoed them. This one I haven't tasted yet. So the notes say Cane Gorn Brewery, 4% alcohol by volume. First time festival ale. Lerig. Lerig? L A I R I G. 
chair. Sit in the high chair. You don't have to see these. Ooh. So malty, bitter, spicy, nicely balanced. Be plus some of it. Getting spicy, bitter in the finish. It's nice. Okay, so that's all five. Maybe some food. With the bonus chicken basket, which is going there. Look, it even says Micropub. And it says Micropub up there. And... It's dog friendly. Dog friendly. Straight on the sours. This is Toilet Block Location Shoot. I have the story. 5.5% alcohol, triple fruit to goes. Pretty decent vehicle. Smells very fruity. Mm. Okay, so sharp. Slightly bitter. Sour. It's a B plus plus. Um, okay, New England IPA, 5.2%. Upper Quadrant by Broadtown. Born to Brew. I like yes. that. Ooh. Yeah. A little bit fruity, nose. The Abigail thing, you know, she like goes up and goes to wash with the things. So, malty, earthy. Earthy is my new phrase. Fruity, hoppy, gently bitter finish. B, B plus and a bit and a bit. Dima Sora from Squawk. A small pile, 3.2% alcohol by volume. Super sessionable. Oh, that's good. So. Um, this one is malty, hoppy, citrusy. It should be a rock cover to the playlist. Um, the plus in Spotify fillets based on my stuff, but this has got into Linkin Park. Last for today, crunching numbers by Phantom Ruling from Reading, 4.1% alcohol by volume, a pale ale. Yes, yeah, babe. <coughs> Look at the four wings, man, in solid. Um, so there's malt, there's fruitiness in there, so there's sharpness, hoppy, bitter, B plus in a bit, a very solid blue. 